good morning. And it is a fine morning indeed. It's Friday. But the week started on Monday, obviously. At least it does for me. And, well, you're about to see what I did on Monday right now. The key to photographing something like this is obviously the access. But even then, access is only one, you know, one solution. Then you try to frame the stuff as well as you can. And there's a lot happening there, but visually there isn't much happening, which is kind of interesting. So how do you do that? Well, you try putting things within frames. Look for storytelling elements. Like you see that sign on the on the edge there that says pool is closed yeah definitely pool is now closed but um you know what's interesting about the nativity prep school is it used to be the ywca and once upon a time when i was in a heavy metal band we actually had uh the first night show in the gym at the ywca now the nativity prep school has been around for a little while and it's a pretty cool place and these folks were really kind to not only tell me that the pool was getting demolished but to trust me that I'm not going to be uh, doing anything silly outside. So at the end of the day, it's all about the photos, and I hope you like them. Hope you enjoyed that. Well, this morning I'm uh, on a small Coast Guard transport vessel. Uh, I don't know what technically these things are called, but I'm on my way out of New Bedford Harbor, and we're going to hook up with a tall ship Eagle which is going to make its way into New Bedford Harbor. Which, curious fact, uh, the Tall Ship Eagle's sister ship is the Portuguese Saga. They're the exact same type of ship. They were both constructed in Germany, and they're pretty cool. Uh, they're both used for training purposes. And actually, my dad, when he was a uh, cadet in the Naval Academy in Portugal, he sailed on the Saga, and so did my uncle. So in, in a way, it's kind of it's pretty cool, even though the Sagas did come to New Bedford a couple of years ago. But photographically, I'm always looking for interesting angles and basically just, you know, tell the story. So as we start making our way up, I'll probably move forward on this boat here and get a couple of shots of the ship as it, you know, just meanders out there somewhere. Um, the one thing you can never ever take for granted is that the batteries on your camera have enough juice because there's no going back, you see. But if it did, you turn to the next best thing, and that's your cell phone. Never forget that that's actually a pretty cool, ca cool camera. You can probably get the job done with that as well. So let's see what I come up with.